on this eventful Saturday night, we are going to do cooking time with Kyle. Dinner jazz. Dinner time jazz. So, Saturday night, cooking time with Kyle. What are we going to cook today? Tonight, we're gonna to cook steak. We're gonna have some wine, sweet potatoes, maybe a little spinach as well. So, that's what we're gonna do. Get it all nice and ready to go. Lovely Saturday evening. I love, I love Saturdays by myself. They become very special to me, because I do it a lot. Not because I'm like a loser or something, or just don't have any friends, I really enjoy it. First up, finishing off the wine from the week. Steak, spinach, butter, seasoning. Next up, extra virgin organic olive oil. And then we're gonna do a nice big steak. But first, before we really get going on any and everything, we have to do what's necessary. This is always delicious. Yes. Just a little bit across. I really get these, uh, in here. Yeah. Slice of butter. Sweet potatoes. Papas dulces. No sé. Papas dulces. <laughs> Sweet potatoes. We're gonna do no spinach because spinach. Love a little, a little mixing. Everyone gets some butter. Make sure we get the butter. Oh, nice. And whipped up potatoes, steak. Some buttery, and then we'll just let this bad boy chill for a while. One thing I do take with every meal, which I highly suggest everybody should take, um, is digestive uh, digestive enzymes. This is my favorite company. Uh, my buddy got me on them, and ever since I've taken these, all my meals I just there's nothing wrong with my stomach anymore. And not that I had problems or anything, or any bloating or gas or anything like that, but I just, my whole, I feel like a new person in the morning, when the morning poo comes. Um, and it's because of my di digestive enzymes, they help a lot. So I take, depending on what I eat, one to two. So like with steak, I'll take two. Um, in the morning with like eggs and avocado, just one. But this is a huge thing that I've added to my uh, vitamin game. I'm not a big believer in supplements. Um, I literally take no extra proteins, no creatine, no anything like that. Um, I used to not be against it, but the protein and that kind of stuff gave me just such bad problems. Bad stomach problems from gas to just bloated to just never feeling comfortable. So I stopped taking that and now I take vitamins. I take, just recently started taking, you know, vitamins, extra ones because I feel good. Um, I was wanted to give it a shot, see if it actually really made a difference or if it's just kind of BS, um, which I think a lot of people sell you on stuff that's just a bunch of BS. So I've been taking these from Onnit. Uh, it's the Total Human Package, and so far it's wonderful. I took my I took my day support today. Tonight I take my night support. Get this bad boy going. We'll put this over. A little heat in there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I like wine because I like to learn them. And with wine, there's like a never ending learning process to it. And I'm by no means even a sommelier or anything like that, but I, when I worked in a restaurant, 
wine was huge, it was a fancy restaurant. So I enjoyed learning all the wine I could. Now, I just like to add it to my life. It's a good, it's a nice thing to learn about. As the steak's cooking, I want to talk about my, probably one of the biggest blessings that I have, and it's my apartment. Three, four years ago, three years ago, I lost everything and I was living in my car. And that was in San Diego. So now things are a little bit better off, but this is really my first apartment that I've like had. And I love it and it's my environment. And I try my best to always make my environment just the way I like it. So like when I first moved in here, it was a different couch, things like that, different rug. Um, I didn't have a painting up there, which that was in my room at first. Um, I like simplicity. I like plants, uh, real plants, because I ain't no fake, you know. Uh, real plants. This is Larry, because he has the L. This is Jerry, just because it rhymes with Larry. And then, of course, this is Harry. He's cool. He's big. Um, it's, it's a learning process to take care of him, but these two... Larry and, uh, Larry and Jay are pretty easy to take, out, take care of, but this is my desk. I like this. This is something I try not to be at a lot anymore. I really want to make my work outside, so that's why I got the office that we work. Um, we might even get rid of this, because I want home life to be home life. Like, my room is my room. It's, it's, it's simple. There's nothing in here. This is my space. My place. Books, who I'm becoming. This is the one painting I got, keep going, because that's just, that's something I need to continually tell myself every day, keep going. Travel, money returns, time does not. This is my morning spot to sit out there. Is a nice little view with the ridges. My house is 53, painted feather way. Google it, do it. And uh, that's that, the bedroom is meant for sleeping and for sex. So nothing else should be in your bedroom because that's not what it's for. But I sleep like a baby. It's because my room is simple. My phone never goes in there uh, unless I meditate in the morning. So I put on some headphones. But other than that, nope. But to have my own space, my own place, is something that's a huge blessing. And I'm so grateful that I've been able to move in here. And it was it was quite a, a stretch. So what I've been trying to learn more about, and I would say somebody called it pushing their wealth. Excuse me, they call it stretching their wealth. So it's something I've been trying to learn. So stretching your wealth, that means you can never outgive God, and the more you give, it's gonna show up. Now, you don't give because you expect to get, you give because you have the opportunity to give. It's out of your pure intentions of your heart. It's beautiful. So when I moved into this place, I knew it was gonna be a stretch. Um, I was in a, another place um, that was a casita, and we had a little bit of issues there, so I had to move out, and I knew I wanted my own place again, so this was a stretch. and. I had about, I had my clients and I knew for, if I kept my clients at the same payments, had the same clients, didn't make any changes, didn't do anything, I would be able to live here for four months. That's how much money I, I had. So like, okay, um, before I like really started to kind of really freak out. But I took the leap of faith and I signed the lease and moved in and within a month, two more clients, another client signed on and then within two months, three months, um, I was kind of in this, this really crazy phase, um, as I kind of talked about, and the buddy that I do work with now, we connected, and there, there came five more clients, six more clients. So, and now we have, a, you know, our agency together that we're growing, and it's fun. And it's a totally different than a normal agency that you would think, think of, um, so it's, it's great. And it shows up. You just have to take that, that step. I'm real, I used to be taking, I used to take huge jumps and leaps, and I would always, you know, fall face, face uh, first. But I started taking steps, and you move, God moves. You move, God moves. And so I move into this place, and it's kind of a little stretch. I trust, and I just went for it. Not that I was sitting around being lazy or anything. Like I was still doing my work. I was still 
um, making sure I attend to all my clients and making sure that they are getting success and go forward. And it just shows up. So that's that. This is my apartment now. It's my space. I love it. And we're cooking steak, cooking family pie. Saturday attire. Sweats in a tank top and a beanie. I'm gonna cut this steak. Juice. There we go. There we go. Dinner for Kyle on a Saturday. I'll set this here. Here we are. I don't like to have my phone by dinner, ever, or breakfast. Um, it's me time. Usually there's sometimes music playing, um, sometimes a podcast, but I've been really trying to focus on just doing one thing at a time, and eating is one thing at a time. So I eat and have my wine, and then probably watch New Girl, because that's my show. Schmidt has gone into one of my top five characters of all time. So, Papa Corno. Okay, that's it. Thanks for cooking with me. Steak, Saturday night. 30 years young right now, 31 years young next month. Food has been a huge part of my life, <laughs> as it should be for all of us. And as I've changed my food, I've noticed a different change in my energy and my states and my mental uh, clarity and, and just the way I sleep, the way I respond, the way I can do work. Um, and I noticed it's because I've changed to, you know, all organic food and loving the food. It's a different process. It's a different energy when your food comes from a healthy environment, a rich soil, a positive place where the animals have been raised or anything like that. So. It comes from them, comes to you, and it goes into you, and it flows through you. So it's a whole big, you know, circle of life. And food changed my life. So with that being said, thanks for tuning into this video. I appreciate you. You are an incredible individual, human being, and uh, I'm so thankful for you. I really am. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, as always. And I will see you next video when we talk about... I don't know what we're going to talk about yet. And cheers.